Y'all, pray for your girl with this hair. It's like driving me insane. Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, you're here. Just hit that subscribe button. Um, I hope that you enjoy the content that I bring. Um, take a look around. Let me know if there's anything missing and anything I can attempt to do for you guys. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate you so much for coming back and enjoying this time with me. So today, I mean, it's love month, guys. It's the first weekend in love month. Let's get this thing started with a little romantic, messy beach wave hair vibe, okay? Um, don't make fun of my wig. I'm not a wig pro yet. I'm trying to become one. And today I'm using Samson's extremely HD camera which has me looking like real high depth. You can see every pore, all the lace front, everything, okay? So I just need you to bear with me, I'm learning. Just like if you look back at my makeup from back in the day, it looked horrible and now we we doing a little something. Um, just give me some time when it comes to the wig application because I just like to do it myself. I know I can pay someone else to do it and I probably will for like my wedding because I'm not gonna be that good yet, probably still. Um, but not right now. Right now, for everyday work, I mean, I'm just working. So I'm just gonna try it myself. If you have a problem with it, I don't care. Anyways, so let's get into this look. I wanna do something really cute. I had on just some basic like running errands makeup earlier and um, we're gonna switch that up, so let's get into it. I also wanted to play with these contacts I got. Maybe I should do my makeup with like my regular eye color because I love like my deep, sultry eyes. Like I love them, I love them. But I did wanna play with what stuff would look like, like different eye looks would look like with a lighter eye color. So maybe I'll save that for the end and we'll do a picture comparison just to see them side by side. I think that sounds like the plan. All right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna use my cute little makeup towels, makeup eraser my mommy gave me for Christmas. And my favorite, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. Just Walmart, any drugstore. And let's wipe. Even though I sort of like this look, like I like just the natural looking makeup. We're gonna play with some color because it's been a while. You know? It's been a while. Okay, now that brows took an hour, uh, I'm going to use a primer today. So I usually use concealer only on like a normal day or whatever. Today I'm gonna mix the primer and, um, with the concealer just to make sure we have some super pigmentation going on. Now because I want the pigment to super show up, I'm not going to set um, this at all like I normally would do with the translucent powder. I'm gonna go right in to grab that color, especially since the first color I'm starting with is pink, which sometimes can be hard to get to show up. I'm starting with a baby pink at the very base, and then I'm gonna go into a hot pink.
All right, let's transition. transition fade on first which is gonna just be like a light rust color and then we'll go in with that crease color Okay, so I wanted the super blended effect um, of the going into the deeper color. So every time I want blended and not cut crease, I always start on the lighter color and work my way out. Um, that's just, again, what I do. Not saying it's the right way or there's a wrong way. Um, now I'm going to add liner, lashes, fix my face back up. And we can go through the final look. I think I might do something cool with liner. Hmm, let's see. Let's see how it goes. threw this on earlier it's not even real foundation it's just like different concealers and I use Morphe's primer again I'm trying to decide if I like it more than NYX primer Use Morphe foundation. I mixed two colors of it together because I didn't find my perfect shade the first time or the second time. And so, yeah, that's that. I'm using shade 
5460, which is more so my color, and then I add a little dot of 5670. Let's snatch that face. I'm using ColourPop Deep Dark 58 shade to contour today. Can't have this dramatic eye look without a snatch moment, you know what I mean? You just can't. It's not fair. It don't make sense. <laughs> Visit that, but we'll go ahead and move to highlight. This is dark 42 with color pop. I really like color pops, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip gloss, and concealer. I have it tried their eyeshadow in a while because when I did try it I didn't like it and I bought several different kinds and I don't even remember the names because it was a while ago but let me know if y'all like them if they've changed anything recently and if I need to give them another try because um, I do like them affordable uh, prices. But that part, I do know. gonna bake underneath my eye and nose with Morphe's loose powder which I just started using and so far it's all right it ain't no Laura Mercier but nothing is except for Laura Mercier is what I'm coming to believe um, I haven't been like glamming too too much to the point where I've felt the need to go restock my Laura Mercier um, but it, it will happen eventually, you know. Right now I've been trying to try new things. So I like set my whole face with RCMA powder. It does the job especially for like just my middle of the week, 9 to 5, you know, looks. Um, if I want to bake, I started trying this because I would, I, I think I did try to bake with um, RCMA powder and that was a no-go, homie. So, currently this is Morphe in the color Banana. I think I'll look when I close it. And like I said, she alright. She alright.
you know. Laura got the game on lock. That's what I would say. Anyways, banana rich is the color. I got it all over my shirt. Okay, while that's setting, actually that's enough for this part. Um, but I'll let my eyes set a little bit more. Um, let's do our bottom lash look. And I have this hot pink, so let's try it out. Waterline, anyone? Um, I haven't I think I've used this yet, so let's see if it works the way I want it to. Okay, so the pink's on there. It's a little much. I think I might mix in some white so it goes from like a baby pink into hot pink just like our eye look does, like our lid does, and see how that does. It's gonna be liquid white because I can't find my pencil white. My eyes was watering so bad over here, great. That's just great, Taylor. That's just great. You could really go either dark lit or light lit with it. Wow, I just like hooked my eye. Oh, oh, I hope this is picking this up because she is fierce. I just don't want my eyes to get too wet because they will crease and I will be pissed. I may have sprayed too much. It looked like a bitch is drenched, but it'll soak up, you know? Had a lot of powder on my face. What lip should we do while we wait? A. What lip should we do while we wait? A. I'm crazy today. On 10. This is count. You guys know that I am good for a contour lip. So let's get into it, okay? Uh huh. I'm basically gonna try to match my eyelid on my lips. Cute, cute. I ain't mad at it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The only thing I'm mad at is this hair, but I'm gonna let it go and get over it. You know? Y'all know? There she go. There she go. Uh, uh, with my squeaky ass chair. Okay guys, how do you like the final look? Actually, I don't know if it's final because I've been loving a no highlighter look. But since this is a little dramatic, I mean like, would a highlighter take it to the next level like it usually does? I'm pretty sure it would. So, what if we do like a sponge highlighter effect, like less concentrate? Well, actually no, the sponge usually makes it a little more concentrated. Brush it is. Oh, okay. I'm I'm doing too much. Doing too much. 
got out of hand, guys. I'm looking like Austin Powers Gold Member. Who remembers that movie? Ooh, I like it. Let's spray her down one more again, especially this nose since I, it went crazy on me. Let's let it dry, let it dry. All right guys, and that's our final look. I really, really like it. I haven't done something like this colorful and playful in a while, I feel like. Um, that was all matte, I should say. I did do the glitter um, cut crease, and you know, glitter's fun, but sometimes a good matte eye look, ugh, it just does something to me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the products I used were all Morphe palettes, just different ones I've collected over time. Um, and yeah, so I, oh, I did say I was gonna play with the eye color. I really like it with my eye color though. Hmm, maybe I will just post a picture with both eye, eye colors and put them side by side. And then I'll leave it at the end of this video for you guys to check out. I think I'll do that because I'm going to take some pictures with my regular eye color first after I get done filming and then we can play with the extras, okay? But um, yeah, so that's all. Like, you know, this is inspired by Love Month. It's the first weekend of Love Month and I want you guys to make it a point to love yourselves every single day this month, no matter if you got a boo, no matter what love yourself and then go out and love a random stranger spread love spread joy spread love and light and happy february anyways i hope you enjoyed this look if you did please make sure to subscribe and like this video share it with a friend and i'll see you next time bye guys